The Israeli military says it's recovered the bodies of three captives held in Gaza. They were reportedly retrieved during an operation in Jabalia in the north. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government has banned Al Jazeera uh, from reporting within Israel. So that's why we're reporting from uh, Amman, which is the capital of Jordan. And that's where Imran Khan is standing by. So Imran, what more do we know about these latest developments? Well, the Israeli army has actually released the names of the three bodies that were, have been recovered. Uh, Hanan Yablanka, she was taken whilst attending the Supernova Desert Rave on October the 7th. 59-year-old um, Michel Nissenbaum, uh, he was actually the only hostage to be taken, uh, captive to be taken from Sedrot. And then you have Orion Hernandez Redu, who's 30 years old. He was a Mexican tourist, also attending the Supernova Desert Rave on October 7th. Uh, he was... Um, killed uh, alongside his uh, girlfriend Shani Loke who was whose body was recovered just a few weeks ago these bodies were recovered uh, in Jabalia uh, in cooperation, the Israeli army says, with a Shinba intelligence user and the Yehalom unit. So that makes 134 hostages, most of those released in negotiation deals. 91 of those were alive, and we've got 18 that were actually uh, killed. Uh, three of those were actually killed uh, by Israeli fire. Israel so far only managed to release uh, three people in military operations alive. Now, the Hostage Families Forum has also reacted to this news. They say it's very sad, but it just goes to prove that they need to send a serious negotiating team uh, to try and get back the bodies or the people that are still alive uh, that are left in Gaza. There's 125 uh, people still not accounted for. Imran, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much, Imran Khan, reporting. And just a reminder, Imran is reporting from uh, Amal. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.